All right, last one. Last one. Japanese sandwiches give foreign reporters culture shock at Tokyo Olympics. Oh, like in, a culture shock in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they but, would they would uh, get to encounter. It's almost like those videos we like to watch. You know, when you would have a uh, strictly dumpling, or uh -huh. I mean, it's a whole category, and you would love to see all the uh, unusual snacks that you uh, wouldn't normally have access to mm -hmm. when traveling around the world. But I think with uh, Japanese sandwiches, they're really specific because, for one, they don't have a crust ever. Yeah, and two, they put fruit and cream in their sandwich dessert sandwiches as a dessert. i know yeah. i've seen this i actually watched an episode of strictly dumpling he's in a mall or a department store mm -hmm. that they say you you have to visit and he's getting one of those fruit sandwiches yes and it's very common for you to go to hit up like a 7-eleven and just pick up a sandwich there yeah and they course. have a variety of, of types so a lot of people um, that are not accustomed to this, went to Olympics in Japan and is very pleasantly surprised by it. Look at that one. Peanut cream. You got to stay away from that one, Will. No, yeah. But I, it I does sound kind of good. But you know what, though? For this, they actually thought of putting like a little logo stamped on the... Uh, do you see it? Too soft. I mean, you can read it to me. It's far away. Well, well no. The actual like uh, picture... A, like a stamp of a peanut on the sandwich. Oh my God. Underneath the wrapper. Yeah. Oh, so that, um, for allergies. Yes. Wow. Oh, so you love them even more now. Yeah. Cause they're looking I, out I for you. I appreciate it. This little subtle peanut shape on the bread. They're looking out for you right now. Uh huh. They see you, Willie dude. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay. Let's, let's, let's dig into this just a bit here. The humble lunch pack becomes the talk of the press room. While traditional Japanese foods like sushi and tempura are uh, well known around the world, once you get here, you'll find there's a wide range of Western foods to tantalize your taste buds as well. A lot of them are a little different to what you'd find in Western countries, including sandwiches. Could be mm -hmm. fruit and cream filled. So this is uh, this was their press room food choices strawberry uh -huh. jam and margarine or peanut cream sandwich now is peanut cream just another way of saying peanut butter but just using I the word so. cream or is it like lighter and fluffier I, I wonder that's a good question we should go there and check out the olympics well apparently they food turned stands. out to be a hit amongst journalists breakfast of champions and quite tasty mm, you got me wanting a peanut cream sandwich will Without the crust too, You've and it's all prepared for you. It the crust thing is funny because that's a thing that moms do for their kids, like cut yeah. the crust <laughs> off, yeah. and then I would have to go over to those kids and you know make fun of them or whatever because they're because they can't handle the crust. And what they do with the sandwiches is that they <laughs> they don't only um, cut off the crust; they stamp the the edges so there's no leakage. Okay, that's uh, now you're starting to convince Look me. Look at that. <laughs> now you're starting to convince me because there's a util utility aspect to it because uh -huh. it's less messy mm -hmm. if they kind of turn it into a pocket. Yes. So that's cool. Yeah. Well, listen, what can I say? Japan never ceases to amaze, and uh, my visit there is long overdue. And now I can tell you for certain that when that visit happens, it will include... A peanut cream sandwich. I'll get the strawberry one for you, Will. I'll All right. Bring it back or whatever. Deal. <laughs>